this is universal that the brain of an adolescent is going to be under construction up until the age of 25 26 the brain is still not fully developed and this period is for the peak of crucial developmental changes that occur you will see that new connections new cells neurogenesis new cells will be formed and created and the ones that aren't necessary will be eliminated that is only the ones that are needed will be maintained as the ones that are not will be gotten rid of there will be an increase in the white matter white matter is the insulation that allows faster connection so habits are formed as a result of white matter myelination insulation that allows electrical impulses to pass faster so there will be an increase in that so as to make any of the skills that the adolescent learns into habit so because of this habits are formed faster in adolescence the key feature of adolescent brain change is the development of the prefrontal cortex means the area near your forehead that is developed last and the peak is seen in adolescence this frontal region is responsible for executive functionings like decision making planning goal directedness priority setting all of which are absolutely crucial for adult life so the adolescent is going to see this development in adolescence all of these changes are affected by the environment and they will include the quality of company that your child is in whether or not he or she is using any substances in terms of even unhealthy foods and the learnings that they are taking they are having not just in school but social learning emotional learning any form of trauma for the child is going to affect their brain development nutrition parenting education all of this is going to play a very very important role here we see the myelin the insulation and it is important to understand that this period as mentioned before is for rapid learning and brain development and that is because there is structural and functional remodeling that is occurring of the brain cells as we spoke neurogenesis there is pruning that is elimination of things that you are cells of that are not being used so for example if a child has learned some activity in their uh, childhood and they aren't practicing it in their adolescence it is more likely to be forgotten than to be remembered if it is not practiced so here you see a comparison of brain development in five year olds in the preteen brain the teen brain and the 20 year old brain you see the reds the oranges and the yellows are for less developed brain regions and the blue is when the brain region is developed more so you see that brain development is less in at, at for five year old it keeps increasing right up to 20 years and above for the executive functions as we mentioned this is the prefrontal region you see the visual cortex is going to remain active from a young age parietal regions for spatial reasoning mathematical uh, abilities you will see a more global improvement in brain development at teenage years and much more in the frontal regions at around 20 years of age as discussed the principle that the cells are using is use it or lose it so it's very important to 
for if any if you want your ado ado adolescent to or your child to be a very successful adult this is a good time for them to build the necessary skills in order to become a successful adult so as a parent you can increase their exposure to a variety of different activities and experiences in order to capitalize on this increased learning ability and because the brain is very receptive during this stage it is going to learn quicker and faster due to those structural and functional remodeling and reconfiguration abilities that are resulting as a as adolescence kicks in